What's up, guys? It's Will with Basic Gear Review, and we're here at NAM 2018 with Doug from Dark Glass. How you doing, Doug? All good, thank you. All right, cool. So you want to tell us a little bit about the new Alpha Omega Ultra you guys just came out with? Absolutely. So um, yeah, it's it was a logic. I mean, most of it was a very logical transition from the Alpha Omega. So in typical Ultra fashion, we just wanted to take what we had with the regular version and sort of expand it because a lot of people really like to have all the options. Um, so yeah, uh, we realized that this pedal in particular needed a more comprehensive pro comprehensive midsection. So that's why we went with a six-band graphic EQ. So you have bass and treble, and then four different mid frequencies. Uh, and that lets you to really finely sculpt everything really well. Uh, yes, like with the ultras, the distortion section is, you can bypass it with a foot switch. So you can use it as a clean preamp EQ, DI. Uh, and that, that already would have been like a really cool pedal. Uh, but we actually decided to sort of push it a step further and add a couple of features that I think make it even more useful and more versatile. So the first thing was to have headphone outputs. Uh, so now you can plug this silently and, and, and get the full pedal sound in your headphones. And it's a, it's a, and it's the right size too, so you don't need any adapter or anything. Um, I know it in millimeters, 3.5 millimeters, I don't know what it is, um, in Imperial. Uh, but the key feature uh, and the most sophisticated thing we have is that it has cabinet emulation now. Uh, which is very, very great for the headphone output because it's nice, especially when you play with distortion. You need to have something that resembles a speaker first response. Otherwise, the highs are too harsh and the bottom end is not so tight. Uh, but it's also suitable for the DI out. Uh, and the advantage of impulse responses, of using impulse responses, is that you basically capture the real response of a cabinet and a microphone, and then you carry that with you. So your favorite cabinet could be a dark glass or an ampeg, whatever it is. You can find impulses that are made with that cabinet, and you can have that full sound with you. Uh, a lot of our users go direct, and this really allows you to get a full rig sound in the direct line. So it's the same as if you would have microphone your cabinet and go with, with that through APA. Now you can actually have that same sound without having to have a cap or a microphone. So for home recording or for live playing, it's just gonna take your direct sound to a whole new level. And I, I just really like to have that full rig sound, uh, especially when going direct or with headphones. Uh, yeah, it has a micro USB jack. Uh, we wrote our own software for it, so it's free for Mac and PC. Uh, yeah, and we have a bunch of um, impulses there that will be available for free. Uh, Noli made some, John from Carnival made some, Dave Hollingworth made some. So we had some of our best artists and producers do custom impulses for it. And of course, people can import their own impulses as well. So yeah, I think it's, it's just going to be a very, very, very useful pedal. And now you can have the whole, you can have a, like a whole miniature rig inside this pedal. You have the distortion pedal. You have the EQ, and now you have the cabin as well, all in one packaging. Um, yes, yeah, it's retail for $399 US. Uh, and we also incorporated the same features on the B7K Ultra. So the B7K Ultra now has the same impulse response cabinet emulation and the headphone output.